video, I'll show you guys a method on how to experience or how to get GPT-4 for free. If you know GPT-4 is the new version of ChatGPT or the new uh, OpenAI artificial intelligence version, the ChatGPT is actually using GPT-3.5 or GPT-3, but they released a new version of GPT-4, which is very, very smart and a lot of difference and a lot of upgrades from the GPT-3.5. Chat.openai.com uses ChatGPT-3, but you can also use GPT-4 but with payment. I will show you right now what I mean. So here I am on a screen and here is chat.openai.com. So basically chat GPT. But if you want to use GPT-4, you have to click the upgrade to plus. So you have to get this plus subscription, but this is $20 per month. So if you subscribe here, if you have money, you can pay for this and you can change between different versions, different models, different uh, APIs, different artificial intelligence chats. You can also choose a GPT-4 if you want, and then you can uh, switch between between them and experience and get a GPT-4 and use it for anything you want. But in this video today, I'll show you how to experience it for free. So how to get, how to try GPT-4 for free. There is a method actually that I'll show you today. And this method is based in another artificial intelligence chat that I'll show you today. If you know a uh, bank, which is Bing Search or Bing from Microsoft have created a new version of their uh, web browser or the Microsoft Edge that they have. And in Microsoft Edge, they added the artificial intelligence chat. And basically they are using the GPT-4 from OpenAI to create their artificial intelligence chat. So I'll show you today how to get how to uh, get it for free and how to use ChatGPT4 for this. So let's get started with the video. So let's go to browser and let's search for uh, GPT. No, actually just have to download Microsoft Edge first. So download uh, Microsoft Edge. And actually Microsoft Edge is just a browser that is built by Microsoft. And I know uh, it runs on Windows and maybe if you have a Windows computer, you have got the update but here I am on a Mac, so I'll show you how to download it first. So you can download it for mobile too. You'll have the mob in mobile and Android, iPhone, or today I'll download it for Mac OS. So just click on Mac OS and here you have to choose the version. So if you have Mac with Intel chip, which is the most common one, if you have a i5 or i6 or i7 intel you can just click on this but if you have a new chip with apple chip so m1 m2 or whatever you can just go ahead with apple chip so i have apple chip so i have to click on this uh, and accept and download so this is will download it but i will cancel it because i have already downloaded and installed it so so after after this is downloaded what you have to do is just to uh, grab to open the PKG and grab it and scroll it inside the applications folder and it will be installed successfully. But today I have it downloaded. So I'll go and open Microsoft Edge. So here is Microsoft Edge. I have it on my apps. And if I go ahead and open, it's just a normal browser like all the browsers we have, like Google and everything else. So the first thing you have to do here is to log in your account. And if you click here on account, I have mine logged in. So you have just to create a new Microsoft account. So to create a Microsoft account, just go and search Microsoft, uh, just search for Microsoft and just go ahead and create an account with Bing. It will be very easy to create an account. Just click on account, add new, and then you can just go ahead and, but I have, I am already logged in. So I have to sign out and create a new account. So after doing that, you can sync all your data here on this browser. And what you can do is just search something like Bing AI. Just search Bing AI here on Microsoft Edge. And here it will show you a version for the chat. So it's a button for the chat. But if you do this on Google, on Google Chrome. So if I type Bing here and open Bing and search just for anything, Bing AI, I still have this chat version, this chat button. But if I click on it, it will show me to download Microsoft Edge. I can't use it from Google Chrome. This is why you have to download Microsoft Edge. So here on Microsoft Edge, you can just click on chat and this will directly open this chat windows. Here is chat and you can choose the conversation style. It is still on preview, so it's not going to work like you expect, like the best version ever, but still it works great. So you can just go ahead and choose creativity, balance or purchase. Here on balance, you can ask anything, like anything you want, like hello, and it will work exactly like ChatGPT. 
but this version this chat is using gpt4 so it's more complex it has more information as you know chat gpt is limited in 2021 information and above is not that accurate here you have more information about this you can just go ahead and change it if you want if you refresh you can change between uh if you go to chat, you can change between and click on more creative. This will be more creative. And I can ask, for example, uh, create a React app uh, to do. So if I click this, if I ask to create a to do app on React, this will generate the uh, the code, it will create the states and everything just like ChatGPT does. And this is also using GPT-4, also being more fast than ChatGPT. So here you don't have, or you don't really have to wait sometimes like a ChatGPT that blocks sometimes because of the capacity. Here you don't have any capacity, you just go can go ahead and uh, search anything. So as you can see, it responds with a really long message and it doesn't stop like chat gpt does like you have to click a continue and do another thing so it will generate all the code for you so here is everything we need and it also is commenting all for any of them so if you type the same command so let's go to chat gpt and compare so here's chat gpt and i'll type actually the same the same command the same message so the same question here just okay it also generated the code it also generated some steps but if you compare this code to the new version of gpt4 here you can see that it's more complex here and is more creative it's also commenting and explaining you everything so what this code does what this other code does and everything here on this code as you can see the, the code is too long and is giving you the full almost a full code for this app but if you go to chat gpt is less simple is using le uh, more version like older ver version of react older uh, like as you can see it created functions and even the function is created with the old method like function handle to do but if you go here on gpt4 like it, it is using es7 and a new version of the javascript is a better version of the code as you can see this is the gpt 3.5 and this is gpt4 guys this was a method on how you can get gpt4 experience so if you are interested it's not that something special like everyone is saying like oh gpt4 yes gpt4 is like the new invention it's just something that is better and upgraded from gpt3.5 to gpt4 and we will get a lot of versions in the future i think like they are working a lot the open ai is working every day for these artificial intelligence chats and uh, options for us but uh, i think if you want to experience this or use it more you can use chat just chat gpt or the chat a artificial intelligence from the bank or microsoft edge it will help you a lot so this was a video for today guys hopefully you like it please make sure to like subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos peace